Hi and welcome in the second episode of Advanced Python series. In today's episode we're going to cover list comprehensions. List comprehension is a special Python tool which allows you to shrink some of your code down into a single line while creating a list. Basically what you can do with list comprehension is you can copy a list over, you can use one list to create another one while specifying some conditions and performing an action. I have prepared a simple example which I want to showcase now. First off, we start with a simple list of words. Then I'm simply creating a second list, which is going to be empty. After which I use a combination of a for statement, which iterates through our words, as well as an if statement to only append the words from our list to the second one, which don't contain the letter E in them. And if I simply run it, you can see it prints out hullabaloo and popish, as those two are the only words without E in them, which I have in my list. And that's where a list comprehension comes into play. You can actually take all four of those lines and create a single line of code which does exactly the same thing. So first up, I will remove all of this and we will simply work off our empty list. Now, I will write out the entire syntax of it and then explain to you each part of it. That's the full list comprehension method. Before I start explaining, I can run the file again and you can see the same thing prints out because we're doing exactly the same thing, just in a different format. So what actually happens here is just a shrunk down version of what we had earlier. If I quickly paste that part of code again, I can tell you now that this line of code, which appends our word to our list, is the first word or the thing we start with while creating a list using list comprehension. The second goes the for statement, which is the part over here. So for word in ridiculous words, and then we finish it with an if statement, which would be here in the middle, if e not in word. As you can see, it's the exact same thing, it's just in a different form. And in certain scenarios, it can even save you up some writing. Another cool thing you can do with list comprehension is that you can easily still manipulate all of your input. For example, instead of entering the words into our list, we could enter the length of those words. As you can see, 11 and 7 for hula baloo and popish. In addition to standard list creation, list comprehensions in Python are also really often used for filtering. One of the filtering examples would be over here, where we filter through our list, only taking in words without the letter E in them, as well as for mapping. Mapping, on the other hand, is a clever method which allows you to update or change every value in an iterable, such as a list, without necessarily needing to use any loops. To use mapping, first off you have to create a function which will be used for it. So let's say we're going to create a simple function which will add some text at the end of each word in our list. I'll simply call it add word and the only thing it will do is return the input plus text. And now that we actually have our function we can use mapping and to do so we're going to create a new variable, let's call it new words. And we're going to use the map function. The first thing you have to input in the map function is the name of your own function which you're going to call. In our case it's add word and the second parameter you have to pass is actually the list on which you want to perform the mapping which in our case is ridiculous words. One important thing to note is that while you're passing your function into the map function you shouldn't include the brackets after its name. Now that we have mapped our list into a new one, we can try and print it out to see if it actually worked. But before doing that, we actually have to convert new words into a list because it currently is not a list, it's a map object. After converting new words into an actual list, we can try and print its values. And as you can see, it prints out all of the words with text added at the end of them. And that's exactly what the map function is used for. Now that you know what mapping is, we can try and do the same thing with list comprehension. And if we want to do so, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is perform an action on our word. The only thing we were really doing is adding text at the end of each word in our list. So we can do that by simply adding plus text. And of course, because we have this if statement here, stating that it's only going to pick out words without e in them, our list should create containing two words and the word text added at the end of both of them. We can check it by running the file and as you can see it prints out hulabaloo text and foppish text. That was list comprehensions in Python and that would be it. See ya.